Richard, you mentioned leadership recruitment. Mm. A lot of times it, it doesn't work out. I've got some stats here from uh, McKinsey. They found that nine out of 10 executive and managers said their organizations either face skill gap, skills gaps already or anticipate that being a key trend over the next five years. So how can organizations make sure they have the skilled leaders they need, the right attributes? Yeah, I think this is, this is, of course, another key challenge. So we talked about the leader appointment challenge, but as you, as you pointed out, there is lots of uh, information showing that leadership development is often not working. In, in fact, to complement the figure you gave, there's been a number of studies over the last decade saying that only about one in 10 of leadership development interventions are creating business value. So this is obviously a, a major issue. And you get this strange scenario when you talk to CEOs and boards, uh, is leadership development important? Yes. How much do we spend on it? About 350 billion US dollars a year. Do you expect to do more of it next year? Yes. Does it work very well? No. no. So here we've got a, a key challenge to face into. And building on what Anuka was saying, this is really about taking the individual leader or the one that needs development uh, as a unique person, looking at their work situation, looking at what they need to achieve, and avoiding these sort of generalized or stereotype models of what does a good look leader look like. Successful leaders perform in their own environment. They don't perform in a vacuum. And that means that in order to develop them effectively, we've got to know a lot about them, and we've got to know a lot about their environment in order to help them be more successful. I'm continuing what Richard was saying. So if thinking about the leadership development initiative, they should be tailored mm. because there's this uniqueness of track record, experience, personality, and the context where the leadership is manifested. They should be measurable based on business results. Of course, uh, team satisfaction is a good KPI, but is it really bringing added value to the business results? And then thirdly, it should be practical and workable. So something that you can really apply in a working context. So I hope that, for example, in the event like this, we get inspired, we get insights, but we can somehow apply that into our working situation. And I think the same applies in leadership development. Yeah, yeah. absolutely.